Yo, what's up guys? Arpsim here, and welcome back to another episode of Reap. Um, guys, we are getting progress on the art artillery, and um, I'm happy to say that there is no problem that I found yet. Um, sorry, uh, when I'm not recording, this is really low, so. Um, and I was also listening to music. But um, other than that, guys, the artillery, we got the ships there. We got the gunships in place gunships plural meaning that if a user presses one that it will come off guys what you're looking at you're probably like oh my god this is the coolest thing ever all right let's go over it artillery run damage deadly time minuscule method gunship artillery two damage lethal which is basically i mean the damage varies but um our, uh, the gunship is always almost guaranteed, but you have to be very, um, you have to play with a well-practiced player to, uh, take advantage of the gunship, um, which you guys will be if you continually play the map. Um, damage is lethal, time me medium, so it's not, it's not like a crazy amount of time, but you have some time, um, this might be good, and method is creeper, um, and artillery 3, damage fatal. Time plenty, method militia. It could like the the damage of course varies, and I basically have books written here, which I think is really cool how it like glitches through. I think that that's a good feature to be quite honest. Um, it looks like it's taking time to come down, kind of thing. Uh, but here we go. This totally is more exciting as you have control over the gunship. This totally does not last very long, but you can be, but can be very effective. You use buttons to command the pilot, which will be you during this artillery. You can affect slash harm your teammates with this artillery if not used correctly. Make sure to aim where the pair desserts are most vulnerable, which is where they're weakest, basically. Their armor stations, their walls, and support, and also the actual team. So, that's that. Um, let's see the second one. Where'd it go? Hmm. Seems like it's getting picked up. Ah. There's artillery too. Alright, I see what's going on. Here, let me uh, just... Alright, that probably went through. Yeah, it's weird. Not sure what's going on there, but um, that'll be fixed. This artillery does not require the a player to control so the gunship is the only um thing that a player can control these are not controlled these are actually controlled by actually minecraft itself so it, it, let's take a read let's uh read this let's see what what do i mean by that so this artillery spawns charge creepers at at near at near the wall there's a typo right there that's okay we could fix that at near the wall this method is very effective for paradisers camping at the base of the wall, so at the bottom, if they choose to do so. Some creepers spawn within the wall, but they are slower. These creepers are preloaded with fire resistance, and I'm going to put fire on them, so it's a little bit easier to see for the paradisers. Um, they have fire resistance, speed 2, and jump boost 2. Their fuse time was modified in order to be more effective, so it's not like you can just kill them like that. Um, they're fast, and they almost instantly explode. Um, this artillery can affect your team if not used correctly. All of them can, of course. Uh, see, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Alright, now we have three. And I see what the pressure plate did. It strong powered all three of them. Well, at least the second one, which powered the two adjacent ones. Artillery 3 uses a mixture of mobs that that um like a creep man my grammar during this day man a mixture of mobs like uh like a creep man what am i trying to say <laughs> that are not charged are so creepers that are not charged skeletons with powerful bulls and armor zombies with speed and jump boost this can be very effective if timed right where the pair dissers are not very focused this artillery lasts a pretty long pretty long and does not require a user to con be controlling. This artillery can harm your player so be careful of placement. 
um, you will have specific locations already uh, available for you to place. Um, so that's really cool. Guys, um, let's take a look at the actual artillery. Well, first of all, I added a sign here. And I modified this. No slams indicate when a class is available. Um, artillery can be used once all of these are used. So, like I said, um, you can't just go ahead and use artillery before they come in. You know, of course, all your team could be in here, but honestly, I mean, that's up to you guys. Do you want to use all the armor in the beginning? That's merely up to you guys. So, we finished that. That works perfect. Um, I made it so that. Remember, the TNT will take care of that um, that thing that Pluto was mentioning in the live stream. Um, basically, if you step on the pressure wave, step off, step on, step off, while that long loop is still on, powering the second AND gate, you could continually give your players food that way, but it's going to explode uh, almost instantaneously, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, what's up here? <laughs> These are the gunships, guys. There's three of them. And they're very stationary. I've been working on this one to make it look pretty good. Um, we're not focusing on aesthetics for this. Um, basically, I had this here originally. Um, so it looks more, you know, gunship related sort of. But it kind of obstructs the view. So what do we have down here? This is like the coolest thing and most compact thing. I've, you know, this is just amazing. Um, so watch this. When I step on it, I don't get teleported. But when I get off, I get teleported back here. So you cannot move. When you're in the gunship, do you, you kind of see the concept? Um, so it's really cool, and it'll only do it if a player is within five blocks of here. And of course, if you're in creative mode, you could really uh, get rid of that. Um, and of course, there's going to be um, blocks here so the user cannot jump. So, as we could see, the user won't be able to jump out of here. And of course, there'll be like half slabs maybe right here anyways. I don't know, I thought it was a cool addition. It's just for me to show you guys. Um, it's really simple. This uh, applies uh, absolute coordinates where the player, where the pressure plate is, um, with a radius of five. So if they get in uh, out of five, then technically they can not um, be affected like that, um, like I'm doing right now. But however, you know, if you're in five, which is kind of hard to get out of with a ten tick delay. I don't know how it would be possible. You know, it's really hard to see, as you can see. Um, but um, this will all be concealed, and most likely, there will just be iron bars around. And this is just um, my artillery command blocks. So, let's take a look. Um, how is this going to work, guys? There is two buttons, of course. Um, this will be right there, and this one will be right there. Basically, what's going to happen is all the redstone is going to be in this gunship. That's basically it, guys. Um, I want to get working on this. This was a very short episode. I just wanted to show you that I'm going to bang this all out. And maybe if you guys could see how I'm going to do that. Um, hint, hint. So, um, yeah, let's see if you guys could see how I'm going to possibly do that. Um, if you don't think I could do it, then you just wait uh, because I will be able to do it. This is actually more simple than actually setting the teams and scoreboards. This is probably the most simplest thing I will ever build that's pretty that looks advanced. Um but um of course next video you'll see this in action and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Uh so peace out. Yo, what's up guys? Arpsum here and welcome back to Reap. Of course we always do this little cinematic intro looking at the beautiful sky. But uh huh, what's this? Things love version 1.0. Lots of backups. High level of sound. Um. Wow, what are we up to, guys? Well, let's take a look. This is everything that I've come up with. You know, that's why I call it version 1.0. That is left. So, what we're going to do is we're going to finish all of these. Then we'll make a version 2.0 kind of thing. So, team randomizer. Spawning base plate. That thing. Regular armor station for um, uh, this right here. We I just got to copy and paste it and change the values. Uh, artillery's two and three. Uh, artillery one needs position tweaking. I actually got it to work. You you can see it kind of right there. Um, admin panel. 
which we could work on today. Scoreboard for kills, map aesthetics, like uh the those fallen trees and stuff. Um Keep inventory game roll to false, pair distance auto cannons, more depth for map. Um so instead of three or four deep, it's like ten, fifteen, like over there. Um hmm. scoreboard for time, so right here We'll display the time and kills. Hopefully, if I could get that working. Pressing the key to view players will also show the health. So, this will show the health, um, and um, it's kind of like your radar. Um, and their crystal room for objective and mine for marines to destroy to win, and method of killing at end. So, I basically nailed it all down, and um, I'll see you back in one sec. Alright guys, I'm back. I just, uh, what I went ahead and did is backed up the world. We're actually gonna uh, pretend this is for real. Some raiders are ready. Alright, so that got dispensed. So this is about the average time of waiting. So let's get rid of all of this so we could see. Um, so now I could destroy things, make backups. Pretty cool. Alrighty, um, almost there. So still a pretty lengthy wait time. As a pair of or you'll be able to see um, all of that, or at least most of it. It's something like this, where you're able to see. So you can see a jungle, and a bridge if you're, you know, if you have Optifine. Um, but uh, assuming players don't, we have to work with that. Um. As well as, all right, Z, yeah, guys, um, this is Z zero, man, this has been used so much in command box, the Z zero, uh, it's unexplainable. Oh, but here we go, that opens up. Um, we get rid of that. It stays open under the so-called dead switches. These will open, pretending that they're you know still stable. Let's grab that. We got backup armor. I got rid of things here. I'm gonna get rid of that as well. So Marader Camp. Um I'm gonna go ahead and pretend that these armors will get dispensed. We already know that they do. But let me stand in any of these corners. I actually fixed the whole thing, guys. So any corner you stand on will teleport you. Uh every single one will. As you can see I'll go to this back side. Boom. Um, the reason I, the way I fixed it, and we're still using two, um, is these were backed up ones. So I figured out if, if you're teleporting or if you're detecting an, with absolute coordinates that a player is in negative 23, and they're in negative 22.5, make sure it's 23. Because it was, if it's a negative, it'll, su it'll subtract 0.5, and if it's positive, it'll add 0.5. Uh, just to get in the middle, I guess, which is a really cool thing. It's just you need a get used to it and understand how it works so we remember technically we uh, got that open uh, so just so um, you guys could see we'll do something like that and then um, once I get my stuff from here see as you can see I'm trying to leave I can't and I'll still get teleported with the speed 2 effect um, that's gone. Um, now this is left. And the armor is in there just so we could test it without that. Alright, we're almost ready, guys. Last one. And this will automatically open. So, one person at a time, it will hinder TPing, please. Alright, let's take a look. So, let's just start opening up right now. Yep, there you go. So, now, there you go. And then these turn on. Perfect. So marauders are requesting artillery. Also, uh, command block output is gone, so you don't see the, you know, giving players and stuff like that items. Um. So yeah, requesting books. I still gotta edit it so it works good, but um, I fixed it so it doesn't uh, you know, come outside. It'll always come down. We got artillery one damage deadly time minuscule. We have uh, actually brick um, stairs, 
So you can see the sign, we can press it, and then it's a dead switch after that. Um, so this, w these lapis will come up and the user will not be able to break it. And uh, yeah, so artillery number one is sort of working. So let's take a look at how I did that. So this closes, player gets teleported. Uh, so we got right side, left side. And notice how I try to leave and I can't. It's going to keep teleporting me back. Um, this is what I was talking about, a plugin. It only uses, what, like one redstone? Um, so it's pretty cool. That was a close one, actually. So uh, let's pretend, you know, you, you're supposed to, like, come out of this so you can look around. Um, so yeah, like, you keep taking a look as a marader. You have infinite amount of time in this gunship, but until you press a button, then you start the clock of your minuscule time. So let's do that. The right one's only coded right now. So what that will do is it will uh, spawn TNT right there, and then it'll keep going. And then ordering gunship to fire on the right. And then soon it's going to say we have five seconds left. And um, as you can see, if I... Um, oh yeah, the reason it's not is because um, I forgot to do this. Um, but uh, it'll say jump if no TP. If the user... Because the user is supposed to do it very fast as soon as they teleport kind of thing. So let's pretend that. See, like that. This is what they're supposed to do. So they keep firing. See, sending... You have five seconds. Pilot, make it happen. Sending gunship pilot back to the field. Uh, and this is all coded under the guy gun pilot, gunship pilot. I also added a lot of trees in this building here. Which uh, is actually an armor station. It's a unlimited leather armor station. There you go. So whispers and all that other nice things um so nearest player and players it's not using absolute coordinates but um it will give to the nearest player uh so that's pretty cool just in case um all right now that we've done that what exactly how how is it going to work really um, I told you guys it's very simple. It's just I'm having trouble with the positioning of spawning TNT to move in a certain direction when spawned. So currently what I had the TNT do is um, it will spawn right here perfectly where the you know fire is. And then it will spawn and move towards here instead of on there. And it's supposed to move up here, but it doesn't. It always moves down there. And I'm trying to figure out how to make it... Uh, go that way so I'll be working on that this emerald block is here so I can middle click and do that um and that's basically it guys um we have much to do but I'll be live streaming this of course more often as I can um so we could get progress done and you could see it live and suggest things live um and talk to me live so that's pretty cool. Um, as well as, uh, I thought, you know, as a murder and paradisitors, you know, you kind of want to run through, like, running over fallen trees is a pretty cool concept that I, I've, I found when making maps. I mean, it, it just looks pretty cool anyway, so that's supposed to be like that anyway. Even though this is a backup, it's supposed to be like that. So I'll remember that, hopefully. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, also with this, we all know it works. Um, if I'm out of there and I go back in, I'll see the rest. And then um, it doesn't give me because no one's still on the pressure plate. So it's completely bug free. Um, so let's do this again. There we go. We get our food. No messages. Um, it only whispers the players in there, so nobody could detect you. As well as that, this uh, whispers to everyone. So instead of saying it to every single player and have it all crowded, it'll use one line for every single player, so um, it's nice and clean. Uh, as well as it being, um, you know, informative to paradisers. I mean, if you, you know, it's kind of messed up. I mean. Like I said, people could kind of use um, 
take advantage of the the way the artillery works and they could um manipulate it so that they could use it in the very start of the game and if the paradisers don't know if it's on the right side well they can't place water or anything to deter it that's the only thing you could really do if you have water over here you could deter those but um it's most likely a scatter shot so it's very hard um you know, better luck next time kind of thing, um, every time that thing shoots, because it's going to be random, because one TNT is going to fling the other one in a random direction every time, so it's really hard to know exactly, but um, it is very effective, of course. Um, the time is going to be heavily decreased, so you can only do it about four times if you're really lucky. As you can see, it's very, um, very long time. Uh, and this is going to detect if you're in the gunship or in here. Um, so, yeah, this is very important. If you're in the left panel instead of the right one, how is it going to know, um, you know, using absolute coordinates? So you have to have all three. So that's how I'm doing it. This is going to be a spawner. It works really lovely. It's just the positioning. Um, what I went ahead and did is ripped all of this out in uh back up and then I saw where it spawned. It spawned perfectly and then it would loop right there. Like right here exactly. And it would spawn the perfect amount. Um it would be on fire and everything. It was just really, really good. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Iripsum. Uh this was a really, really big progress update, of course, from uh, the last um segment that I recorded. Uh that was eight minutes in this into this episode. But I hope you enjoyed. Um, I want to continue working as well. And oh yeah, let's look at this um, as a progress. So within two blocks, or you have to be within that obsidian. Or you get nothing. You could do this. Actually, you can't because they're all connected under the same one. See, uh, very smart redstone here. See how they're connected to the same block? If one is powered, that one doesn't do anything. Yeah, that only gave 16. Yeah, not even if you're lucky, it'll give you twice. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty good. I love it to pieces. And um, the par uh, Marauders can't really tunnel through that. Because, as you could probably tell, once you're down here and you're tunneling, tunneling... You hit that. Uh, there's nothing else you could really do. You could dig down, but there's uh, blocks here and redstone. So I'll just have to put one redstone dot or one bedrock right there, and then that should deter players completely. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, we got natural lava from the mouth, providing cover. There we go. That's what I like. Alright guys, this was very, very successful. Um, I told you it was going to be really easy, except the spawning. I knew the spawning was going to give me a hard time. And of course, this looks much better during nighttime slash time set night. No, actually 1800. So you have the ultimate night effect. Alright, now let's look up. That looks like a perfect battleship. But I thought about it. You know, the left and right. I think I might copy and paste this on the left and right, just for aesthetics. Um, I think that will be cool because, you know, just one looks really weird. So if we have one there, one there, one there. Maybe some up there. Um, and also, I'm going to make this much higher. Because I feel like no matter what you do to prevent people from, uh, you know, destroying the gunship, I feel like they'll pillar up with TNT or something and blow it up kind of thing. So I'm trying to make as resistance as resistant as possible um, which it is um, as long as that pressure plate doesn't break this whole thing is uh, stable except for those uh, I think um, we'll have rules and stuff of course so yeah this has been iRepism here bringing you uh, the progress and this is like a chain kind of thing I like it so anyways hope you enjoyed guys take care and I'll see you guys later. Uh, thank you for watching today's uh, map making series. Peace out now.